Authorities identified the suspect as a British national. Today, President Biden called the incident an act of terror. The president praising law enforcement for their swift action and the cooperation between state and local authorities. The nearly 11-hour standoff came to an end late Saturday when an elite FBI team stormed the building. Our ABC affiliate WFAA has this exclusive video of the hostages running out to safety, a man with a gun retreating into the building. ABC's Maria Villarreal reports tonight from the scene in Colleyville, Texas. Tonight, a frantic dash to freedom for hostages fleeing a nearly 11-hour standoff at this synagogue in North Texas. The group escaping through a side door with an armed man following them before he disappears back into the building. Flashbangs and gunshots caught on exclusive video from our ABC affiliate WFAA. Moments later, agents rushing inside. The FBI using a special hostage negotiating team out of Quantico, Virginia, to speak with a suspect now identified as a British national, Malik Fasal Akram. It's very likely this situation would have ended very badly early on in the day had we not had professional, consistent negotiation with the subject. The suspect interrupting Shabbat services at Congregation Beth Israel outside of Fort Worth around 1020 local time Saturday, taking four people hostage, including the rabbi, claiming to have explosives in his backpack. Authorities say he demanded the release of convicted terrorist Afia Siddiqui, now serving an 86-year sentence for trying to kill U.S. personnel in Afghanistan. Members watching a live stream of the service on the synagogue's Facebook page, now taken down. Today, President Biden condemning the standoff, saying this about how Akram potentially obtained the weapons after arriving in the country from the U.K. in recent weeks. With regard to Texas and the synagogue, I spoke this morning with the Attorney General and uh, to get a rundown on, he said there was overwhelming cooperation with the local authorities and the FBI and, and uh, they did one hell of a job. This was an act of terror. This was an act of terror and it not only was uh, related to someone who had been arrested, I might add, 15 years ago and been in jail for 10 years, the idea is it was something new. Uh, and uh, they did just a great job. I also told him that I wanted to make sure we got the word out to synagogues and, and places of worship that we're not going to tolerate this, that we have this capacity to deal with assault on particularly the anti-Semitism that has grown up. And so, uh, and I'll be talking with, uh, I put a call into the rabbi, we missed one another on the way up here, and, uh, but they should rest assured that we are focused we are focused, the Attorney General is focused on making sure that we deal with these kinds of acts. Allegedly, we, I don't have all the facts, nor does the Attorney General, but allegedly the assertion was he got the weapons on the street. He purchased them when he landed. And, uh, and it turns out there apparently were no bombs that we know of. Uh, that, you know, he said that there were bombs he had as well. <clears throat> but he, um, apparently he at the first night in a homeless shelter. I don't have all the detail yet, so I'm reluctant to go into more, much more detail. But, uh, and allegedly he purchased it uh, on the street. Now, what that means, I don't know. Whether he purchased from an individual in a homeless shelter or a homeless uh, community or whether, because that's where he said he was, uh, it's, it's, it's hard to tell, I just don't know. All day today. Uh, this morning at about 1041, we received a 911 call uh, regarding a disturbance at uh, the 6100 block of Pleasant Run, which is Congregation Beth Israel. It's our local Jewish synagogue. At that time, uh, they were having services, and those services were being broadcast uh, across Facebook and across Zoom. And we began to get information that a gunman had entered the uh, synagogue and taken uh, four individuals hostage. At that time, uh, patrol resources responded to the area. Uh, we called out our SWAT team. North Tarrant Regional SWAT team who responded. We set up a perimeter and we began to evacuate the houses that were in the local area. Uh, at, at some point in time, uh, immediately after that, uh, we received some backup support from uh, Northwestern Hills SWAT team. I immediately, uh, once we heard there was a hostage situation, I called the FBI. Um, FBI uh, Special Agent Char Charge Ma Matt DeSarno came out uh, immediately, FBI, uh, ATF, HSI, uh, Texas Department of Public Safety, and all of our local 
uh, partners all responded as well. We've had nothing but phenomenal support uh, from our state local law enforcement and federal partners. At some point in time during the, uh, th the times we were negotiating with the subject uh, for a period of time all day, uh, constant communication with him. He did release one hostage in the middle of the uh, incident. That hostage was not harmed and he was, uh, he was, he's doing well now. Uh, the, uh, the FBI called out uh, the hostage rescue team, which is an elite uh, hostage rescue force out of Quantico, Virginia. They, they uh, immediately when uh, the, the F SAC called, they got on a plane and flew out here. I think they brought 60 or 70 people uh, from Washington, D.C. To, uh, to come and help with the situation. Uh, sometime around 9 p.m. today, uh, this evening, the HRT, the hostage rescue team, breached uh, the, um, the synagogue. Uh, they rescued the three hostages, and uh, the, the subject is deceased. Yes, the four, absolutely. The four people who were rescued are, are not in need of medical attention, are with FBI agents right now, will be reunited with their family, unharmed. He did not, he did not harm them in any way. Okay, that's right on my part. What can you do? It's very likely this situation would have ended very badly early on in the day had we not had professional, consistent negotiation with the subject. Uh, I do not have any information right now that indicates that this is part of any kind of ongoing threat. We obviously are investigating. We'll continue to investigate uh, the, sh the hostage taker. We'll continue to investigate his contacts. Our investigation will have global reach. We have been in contact already with multiple FBI legats to include Tel Aviv and London. Uh, we've been working closely with Secure Community Network and the Jewish Federation. And uh, I want to continue to do that. And we will continue to do that uh, throughout the country. Uh, we, we, we do believe from our engagement with this subject that he was singularly focused on one issue and it was not specifically related to the Jewish community, uh, but we're continuing to work to find motive and, and we will continue on that path. Thank you. Thank you. This morning I received the good news that the hostages and congregation Beit Israel in Colville, Texas have been rescued. I want to thank the law enforcement agencies for their swift response and courageous action that brought the hostages home safely to their loved ones. This event is a stark reminder that the dark forces of anti-Semitism still exist. We must and we will fight it. To the Jewish community in the U.S. and diaspora Jewry around the world, I say, you are not alone. We're one family and we stand strong and united together.